Well, 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 what do we have here? It looks like a controlled experiment. Hey kids, Mr. Brescher here. Today we're gonna work on measuring temperature. And what a better way to do that than with a thermometer using degrees Celsius in a controlled experiment. I have two hot plates set up here, uh, two beakers. One has 200 milliliters of water, one has 100 milliliters of water. They both have a thermometer and right now, we need to make sure that the temperatures on the thermometers are exactly the same. The first one, as you can see, is right at about 19 degrees Celsius. Second thermometer, as you can see again, is right about the same, 19 degrees Celsius. Now we also need to have a control group. So we have our control group here and these thermometers are right at 19 degrees Celsius and right about 20 degrees Celsius on this one. Now, my question is, when I turn on the hot plates at high heat, if I let them set for three minutes, which one will gain the most heat? Which thermometer will increase in temperature the most? So I have two experiments ready to go. Let's plug those hot plates in. And now we're ready to go. All right for three minutes at high temperature, getting ready to start. And they're on, clock is started. Now, while this experiment is going on, I'm also turning on the temperature of 400 milliliter, milliliters of water. And we're gonna make a prediction based on this control group to see how much that one will increase in temperature as well. One thing we need to do is look at our significant digits. We had that it was probably the temperature, if I would have estimated very closely, I would have said that it was about 19.2. Now I only want two significant digits, so I want to round to the nearest whole number for this particular problem. <clears throat> I'm going to look at the whole number, and since I'm rounding here, I need to look at the tenths place. Okay? Four or less, I'm going to keep the number the same. Five or more, I go up. So we have four or less, so it would be 19 degrees Celsius. Another thing we need to think about are some of our variables that we have in this particular experiment. Now, one variable that we have is, of course, the independent variable, and that is uh, something that is changed by the investigator. So what am I changing in this experiment? If you said the amount of water in each beaker, then you are correct. The dependent variable now, dependent variable is uh, what we're measuring in the investigation. Now in this investigation, we're gonna measure the temperature change for each beaker of water. We also need to think about constants and controls. What is a constant? Something that stays the same. Okay, when we look at this, both of the experiments were using degrees Celsius. We're also using the same type of thermometer in both of them the same hot plates, all right? And they're gonna be sitting here for the same amount of time. So, what things are we keeping the same? Well, almost everything except for the amount of water. That's our independent variable and the temperature change is gonna be our dependent variable. Looks like we should be getting pretty close to the end. Let's get ready to check that temperature. Only 15 seconds to go. 
Now, when I do this, I'm going to have to check it very fast because the temperature may go up or down as soon as I pull it out of the water. So we will have to do this very quickly. Three minutes is up. Here we go. Check the temperature on this one. You can see it's at about 23, 24 degrees Celsius. And in this one, the temperature almost up to 30 degrees and dropping quickly. Let's check our control groups to make sure they are the same. And you can see this control group is still right at 19 degrees Celsius. And our other control group is right at 19 and a half or 20 degrees Celsius. Now, one thing to talk about. First of all, if you made a prediction with the 400 milliliter beaker, we will check the thermometer on that one. What do you think it's going to be? If you guess 25 degrees Celsius, you are correct. Okay, so what did we find out in this investigation? The beaker with less amount of water in it increased in temperature more over a three minute period than the beaker with more water. So the amount of water may have an effect on how much temperature it can gain